And the guy said the price to me and I was like, what the fuck? I almost wanted to leave, but then I thought, wait, I make 5k profit per day. The principles that I'm talking about will make it easy for you to go to consistent six-figure profit months. What's up, guys? It is 8 a.m. and I'm about to leave for Marbella. I'm going on a road trip to Marbella for about two weeks. And the reason I'm going right now is because in the summer, I didn't even go on a single holiday. It is now September, so all the fucking tourists are gone, I hope. All the Dutch people and Moroccan drug bosses should have left by now. So I'm going to go on a road trip to Marbella with the Euros, by the way. It's supposed to be a seven-hour drive, but of course, with this beast, let's just see how fast we can get there. All right, we're now headed to Marbella. And the good thing about having an online business, of course, is that you can do whatever the fuck you want. So obviously I'm not going to be two weeks doing absolutely nothing, going on a vacation like normal people would do. I'm actually going on a workcation or whatever. I will be working at least six hours per day. Let's say four to six hours per day. Then after work, I will be enjoying Marbella. But of course I can just bring my laptop and work from anywhere I want. So this is pure freedom that I have been able to achieve through dropshipping in my case. That is why I always preach, do something online because you can literally use your money, go on vacation, still make way more money in return while actually enjoying life, not just one week per year, but throughout the entire year. So we're now headed there and I'm driving way too fast and there's uh, a lot of speeding cameras. So we have now built up a lot of fines in this moment while I was just talking, but I make money, so it doesn't really matter. Freedom. All right, this is the first gas stop. So what do you think guys will cost a full tank of gas for a lamborghini euros it's not really a full tank there's still 120 kilometers i think left so let's see you have to um, you have to get the most expensive fucking gasoline keeps on going guys oh that's it so 128 euros hello do you speak English? All right, so the lady just said that we had to stop filming for some fucking reason at a gas station. But anyways, 128 euros is the total cost for 80% full. So that's absolutely insane. Let's pay now um, because this bitch is going to kick us out otherwise. People online always say that you don't want to drive your supercar too much because of the mileage and because of the value that it will drop then after. But who cares? Why the fuck else are you buying a car if you can't drive it, if you can't take it on a road trip? If the value drops again, who cares? I'm running a multi-million dollar per year profit business. I didn't buy this car as an investment and you shouldn't buy any cars as investments. So buy a car and enjoy it. All right, we just arrived here at Marbella. It's hot as shit. I'm sweating my ass off, but look at this incredible view right on the mountain. We're right at uh, Puerto Romano. I've never been here, so I have no idea if that's good, but apparently it is a very hot, popular place to be. But we're tired. We're now gonna go out for some food. And then tomorrow I'll bring you along the entire day and what I'm going to do here. Till then, enjoy this house tour. <laughs> Right, of course guys, our fucking bedroom is messy as shit because we just slept here and I'm not gonna clean it up entirely just so you can enjoy a little montage, all right? But what's on the planning today? We're gonna go to a breakfast bar in a couple minutes, then we're gonna go do some work, like four or five hours of deep work. I have some student calls I need to check up on the team, of course. And then after we might go to a beach bar, the weather is looking extremely good. As you can see, if you're even from Europe, this is in Celsius, really nice, consistent weather. Every single day that we're here, as you can see, by the way, let me show you some results in the last seven days with this US brand that we have with it 75k which is not that great we've done much more with this brand in the past but August is a very tough month for e-commerce especially if you're running a brand but we just found out literally by doing a call with someone that we didn't have enough upsells to support the expensive cost per purchases in America and it turns out that the base that we currently have with the US brand is extremely good so I'm talking about the numbers on Facebook such as the CPC and the CPMs as well as the conversion rate and the ROAS are all really good we just need more upsells so what we're now doing for this brand is we're creating vsls and long as advertorials as upsells so normally you have your sales page you have your checkout page and someone buys and then you have a post purchase upsell usually that is just the same product with a tiny discount and then the customer has the easy option to click yes i want this while right now we're completely changing this post purchase upsell to an entire advertorial on its own with a vsl video included but obviously that takes a lot of time but that makes it so we can upsell hundreds of dollars more in the back end, which means we will be able to scale this brand 4x at least really easily. As you can see, guys, by the way, this is the uh, roof terrace that we have. Insanely convenient. 
to work in the sun. The Wi-Fi is really good here. It's better than in my own house. And we have this view of the famous Morbea mountain. As you can see, we're in a really nice location. Yesterday, we already uh, went out to the restaurant and it's just a five minute walk to the beach right over there. So really good location, really nice house. But let's now get some breakfast and I'll take you guys along. We're now walking to the breakfast bar and uh, we're in a really nice spot. As I said, Puerto Romano or whatever the fuck. One of the most expensive parts, I think. As you can see, this is a uh, Euros. This is already the fucking third Euros I've seen. So we are not unique anymore. I think I'm gonna return it and buy a uh, bicycle or something because this is not it anymore. I All right, we're here guys. Really nice ex Benedict as you can see. Really nice place actually. I also wanted to tell you about our Funnelish project, which is uh, EU stores using Funnelish instead of Shopify. So if you've watched any of my dropshipping tutorials, you would have probably seen uh, already that we run on Funnelish. And as you can see right here, this is one of the stores, German store, 19K yesterday, which is okay. We are currently active in Germany, Netherlands and Belgium, Sweden and Norway, and we will be adding multiple markets later on. But the reason I'm showing you this is because this is actually way better to begin with if you haven't even done dropshipping yet as i told you guys about the us brand it's insanely hard especially if you want to do 20 30 40 50k days consistently that shit is an insane challenge and you need a big starting capital and experience as well so to all the beginner dropshippers out there do not watch the videos on youtube where they say to just run any fucking product in the us market on a shopify store that doesn't work it's outdated what does work for a beginner with a low starting capital and no experience though is funnel dropshipping where you take a product from a competitor you run it in an EU market where the competition is 10 times lower than in the US. Copy literally their ad. You have to spend almost no money. You have to spend like $40 on Facebook ads and that's it. And that is the easiest way to do it. Now let me enjoy my food and then we're probably gonna go to the gym or something. Or no, first we're gonna do work, then to the gym and I'll take you guys along as always. Look at how tiny our fucking pool is, by the way. This is so tiny, it's really funny. It's actually just a bath, actually. You can't even, I don't think you're supposed to be able to do this in a pool. <laughs> 110, 120. Okay, stop it. <laughs> we have a pool at home and uh, I've used the pool at home maybe once in a year so why would we get a pool if we're five minutes away from the beach if you're wondering how much this house cost by the way for two weeks this house was 15k euros so it's extremely expensive for what you get I mean the house itself is really nice like inside is really really nice it's not huge it has four bedrooms it has a bath as a pool but uh, it's just near the beach like five minute walk which is really unique in Marbella but I gotta go back to work I'm distracted it's time to go to the gym The gym we're at is called Real Padel Club. It's not a Padel Club, it's a gym. But um, extremely crowded here. It's pretty expensive, but I saw this on everyone's Instagram, so we had to come here. And I think it's only popular because of social media. Because if you take a look around, it's extremely messy. It's hot as shit. I'm sweating extremely hard. Super crowded, all in all, pretty nice gym, but uh, not worth the hype. I think it might be. Now watch me throw my huge ass fucking You can't spell us without trust. Actually, never mind. It's close. All right, we're now headed home from the gym. And as I said, the gym, it was really nice, but it was kind of underwhelming. Extremely messy, extremely packed. The people were all looking at each other, looking who has a bigger meters. ass. So tomorrow I'm going to try another gym. It's called the IO. But for that gym, you had to sign up online and you had to literally leave your Instagram handle online to, I guess, see how much followers you have or something online, fucking crazy. But apparently that gym is a little bit um, less packed and a little bit more clean, so we'll see. But I do think it's extremely important that even while you're on vacation, you keep some healthy habits like eating healthy, like going to the gym, like at least working a couple hours per day. Because otherwise, when you go back to normal life, there's such a Eat huge difference, which makes it hard to then get back into it. If you keep the difference small between what you're doing on vacation, uh, daily and what you're doing continue on a7 for three and what you're doing not on vacation it makes it so much easier to get back into the flow into the monk mode so that's why we're keeping a small difference we are now going out gonna have, go to a nice restaurant maybe have a couple drinks or whatever but we're not gonna go all fucked up and tomorrow it's back to the gym back behind the laptop working and grinding <laughs> All 
right, it's actually now the next day, so I told you guys that we were gonna go to a nice restaurant or whatever, but we were actually tired as hell, so we just ordered some food, watched some TV, and it is now the next day. At this moment, I have a group call in about five minutes with my students, and then, I swear to God, we're actually going to do an activity. We're gonna go to the beach, see if we can go to some beach club or beach bar or whatever, swim in the sea, do some fun shit. But first, a high-level student group call. Yo, guys, can you hear me? Let me know in the chat. Is my audio fine? Perfect, perfect. What you also want to do is you yourself do a customer service session of one hour in Freshdesk and then do it in the most um, efficient way possible. So you speak Dutch, but they are not going to speak Dutch. So how would you integrate the translations to do it as quickly as possible? Then make a screen recording of you doing it as fast as possible, send it over to them. And if they then don't hit the uh, KPIs in the first week or two weeks, they can fuck off and they can just See, we arrived at this crazy cool beach club. It was expensive as shit though. This bed right here for a couple hours is 500 euros. And the guy said the price to me and I was like, what the fuck am I limiting belief mind? Am I broke mind from uh, from earlier when I was younger? Almost wanted to leave, but then I thought, wait, I make 5K profit per day, even more sometimes. So why the fuck would I say no? Here we are, now we have this bed for 500 euros. We do have a bottle of champagne included, so that's awesome. We are right at the beach. It is beautiful right here. Yeah, why would I have said no? That would be a extremely broke mindset and did I even tell you guys about the free fruit by the way guys so many dropshippers are extremely lazy in general the strategy is about being lazy right being as lean as possible and copying whatever you find from your competitor changing absolutely nothing and then making money with what works scaling what works and then moving on to the next product whenever that one dies out that has been the strategy for a long time but it is not the strategy that is optimal anymore so with our funnel dropshipping strategy we focus heavily on the copywriting we focus heavily on the graphic design and we focus heavily on the general branded principles but we still combine it with testing a lot of products like normal dropshipping and what that does is because most dropshippers just focus on the volume combine volume and high quality you will absolutely have no competition in dropshipping and that's the case with the funnel dropshipping strategy because it is a lot harder to learn about marketing and to understand copywriting and to educate your employees on these principles as well the extra work alone that we put into our team and into our own understanding of marketing and psychology is what gives us our competitive advantage and our blue ocean just like this ocean right here that was not funny at all so i always advise to read as much psychology and marketing books as you can and whenever you learn an interesting marketing principle make sure you heavily integrate this in your systems and in your team your funnel builders or your product page builders should understand these principles too so every single day whenever your funnel builder or your product page builder for example has created or finished a product page or a funnel you should then ask them how did they implement the marketing principles that you required and if they have to give that feedback every single day to you as the owner they themselves will become marketing experts as well and if you do just that just that little improvement that no one else does in dropshipping you will literally crush it it's not that hard but you're probably watching this as a complete beginner and having absolutely no idea what I'm talking about the principles that I'm talking about will make it easy for you to go to consistent six-figure profit months if you just want to do your first 10 20 30k profit month applying whatever I tell you guys about in the free course is more than enough and then of course if you want to do it like 10 times faster you can apply for my mentorship as well now for that mentorship the results are insane because we have a profit guarantee we guarantee each student that joins that they will reach 10k profit per month at the end of the mentorship and the only reason we're able to provide this guarantee is because we know if they put in the amount of work that we require because we do require a certain amount of work every single day from you it is impossible not to hit the profits with our strategy so if you think you want to join this mentorship you can apply below but again because we have this crazy guarantee we do not let in anyone we vet you on your mindset very heavily during this free call that you can book with my team below but if you think you can do it book a call now do not hesitate I'm now gonna go for a swim enjoy Marbella a little more this is only the second full day that we're here so probably create a day in the life video as well and a week in the life video as well so stay tuned for that Ooh.